I really don't have a Murtaugh list. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe someday? Yeah. Hmm. I don't I don't know what much I'm too old for. Like unless it's like the Teletubbies or Barney. Like really what am I too old for? High school girls? Uh that's kinda iffy. Kinda iffy? Okay. Well I just need to make sure. <laughs> you know, I, I'm I'm pandering to our audience here. <laughs> Our audience, our honestly, high school girls. Is that? <laughs> I, I don't know, like, what the general age range of people that watch me. I'm pretty sure it's like, I, I'm pretty sure they're like a majority a younger audience. Like, not like, like junior high audience, but I mean, like, probably closer to like, uh, like late teens, early twenties, I think. Techno synth, the voice of a new generation. Oh please! <laughs> the day I become the voice of reason for a generation is the day that this world is over. <laughs> or just begun. <laughs> there is no reason for anyone to listen to anything that I say. Oh, but they will. <laughs> like seriously, you know. Like, there's no reason to, to take me seriously for anything unless I really make it a super serious thing. I don't know. Super, super, super serious. Um, that should be three boxes. Let's see. God. <laughs> Okay. It's another set of chests. Ooh, tonight is Game of Thrones night. It is. Or as I like yeah. to call it, yeah, Tyrion it night. I don't know, man. I swear to God, if anyone if anyone comments spoilers, I will flip my gourd. <laughs> Well, by the time that they see this... Yeah, that's true. You know, it's going to be, like, two weeks later. Yeah, but the books are still out ahead of me. Maybe. Yeah, but, you know, I guess you can blame George R.R. R. Martin for that, since he's spoiling the whole fucking story. <laughs> there was some tweet about... I don't know if it was faked or not, but there was some tweet about him and, and J.K. Rawlings recently, where she hmm. talked about how she didn't... She wished... She didn't have to kill off characters in Harry Potter, and then he kind of mocked her. <laughs> well, sounds like some. I, I get, I get, like not wanting to kill off your characters, but sometimes it's necessary for growth <laughs> or fun. <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, if you're being realistic, like not everyone can live all the time. Like that's not that's not a real story. Dude, these are fantasy I mean, stories that we're talking about with dragons. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, fantasy is like too sugar coated these days. Uh, it's like, oh, the hero always makes it out, and like, the people that are good, like, nothing bad, nothing too bad will ever happen to them because they're like nice and virtuous and shit. It's like, that's not how shit works. <laughs> you can be as good as you want to be, and fucking like, whatever is gonna throw shit in your face. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, shit happens because shit happens. Like, not just because you're a good person. Or a bad person, or whatever. Like... Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's just... It's more... It's just being real. It's being real. I almost... Like, if, if I didn't enjoy those shows so much, I'd almost think that I had enough of real on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh man! But Game of Thrones is is lovable. Yes. In a really weird way. In a really weird Peter Dinklage is awesome kind of way. In the uh, the last episode, there was an uh, there was an Australian like porn star in it. Oh what? Australian porn star. Oh okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, she was like one of the she was one of the girls in the um uh, that one camp that that uh like the deserters of the fucking Night's Watch or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And I remember reading it on I think it was was it IO9 I don't know, somewhere. I wonder if porn stars ever tired of being unable to escape, you know, who they are. I'm sure later on, well, I, I think it really depends, like, if you're, like, one of those people that eventually wants to have kids or something, maybe. Because then you have to eventually explain shit, just, and then it gets awkward and weird. I just mean as an actor, you know. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think a lot of people get into that industry because... Well, I mean, generally speaking, you can hope that they're getting into it because they want to. Um, yeah. I'm sure they wouldn't, most people wouldn't do those things. Um, if they didn't want to uh, be a part of that, like if that wasn't like yeah, sort fame, of their lifestyle. Fame and fortune. But, uh... Yeah, you know, some people transition into the the main, the yeah, main acting thing and whatever, like Sasha Gray. <laughs> I mean, she left porn. Now she's a she's a legit actress. She uh, she does like music and stuff. Yeah. So, I think she's a writer too. Yeah, so. I think she had a really good education on top of all that. Yeah, I think I think the problem with a lot of a lot of uh, the whole like transitioning in the in like from porn into like legitimate other stuff is that a lot of people view porn like you know if you've done it that's just like oh okay so that's what kind of person you are <laughs> you know and then they like they don't give people a chance it's like this isn't like stuff that like you know, all these other people probably wouldn't do. Like, if you know about it, then clearly, like, you have some some sort of, like, inkling, like, of knowledge into, like, the adult industry, and you probably, like, watch porn as well. So it's, like, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird, like, I'm going to judge you for stuff that you've done, despite the fact that I'm sort of part of it as well. Okay. And it's okay for me to judge you because I'm not doing it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I didn't inhale the penis. <laughs> yeah. So clearly, there's nothing wrong with me. But there's everything wrong with you. Uh, it's magical. America's magical world of, of, uh, of sexual denial. Yeah, well, as bad as some things get in uh, America and other places of the world, it's much, it's much oddly like a lot worse and sometimes a lot better. So I don't know. I recently watched an episode on Vice that talked about rape in India and how rampant it is. It was really fucking sad watching police officers do nothing. Yeah. Pretty, pretty dark, sh pretty dark shit. Yeah, but <laughs> sex is very different, regardless of where you go in the world. It's interesting. It's interesting to see the different perspectives the different societies have in general. Mm -hmm. See here, six blocks. One, two, three, four, six. What is uh, nothing should be able to get over that, but you never know. We were almost home home free in Chestland. Do that. Almost. Yeah. And I do have um read in case you need some to start getting book paper. Mm -hmm. If I had... Well, 
set this apart than the way that I did it. If I had done this slightly different than the way that I did it, I could have gotten another chest in. Oh well. Maybe I'll find something to do here. I always want, uh, what you call them? I always want, uh, glowstone. Glowstone. In my mind, it always looks cleaner than torches. I guess it depends on the, um, the skin you have as well. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, some skins make them absolutely, like, terrible. Yeah. Well, mine are fine. I just really like, since everything is, you know, flat and cubes anyway, like 3D protruding objects feel wonky to me in comparison to just cubes. Uh, Great. Well, I guess I'm going to chop down this tree right here. What type of fancy mine would you like? Do you want to do rows or do you want to do a freeform mine? Um, let's do whatever. <laughs> just do whatever, because the uh, the way that I mine is really weird. <laughs> well, the way that I mine is really structured, so I'll do a freeform mine. Uh, that way, it won't really matter how weird you are. Oh, fucking creeper, son of a bitch. Hey! Get over here. Get over here! Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was. That is quite okay. I was never ever good at you, Mortal Kombat. Never ever. It actually. It was a challenging game before it became um, like like normal fighters today, where it's like comboy. Yeah. And then it became more challenging. Um, probably not, like, on the level of Street Fighter or anything, but in its own right, it's a pretty good, pretty good game. I don't know. I'm not a whole, I'm not a big fan of the whoever sneezes first footsie type of BS, but I guess that's how you make people feel like skill is involved. Counting frame weaknesses and... Having giving characters moves that they're never ever going to use in situations because they're too frame vulnerable to other people, like stuff like that, always bugs me. Um, the the illusion of of choice in games because you really can't do anything you want. It has to be this way or that way, and that will always really bother me. Let's see one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't get it in fighting games. I really don't. Well, I mean, it is one of those things that makes it sort of really highly competitive. Oh, I didn't realize I was this far over. There's a tree right over there. Alright. That's why I like... Uh, spider. I like games like the Smash Brothers. See, I like Smash Brothers, but, like, I don't like it... I, I like... I like trying to make the game as fair as possible. Like, I, I, I like the competitiveness of Smash Brothers, but I don't like playing with items on. I don't like playing like where people fucking like edge hog and stuff. I think that shit's like kind of fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I, I get the competitiveness of it, like for sure, where it's like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm playing to win and whatever. I'm like, yeah, I, I get that. But at the same time, I'm just like, eh, like I, I, I like things to be a little bit more 
like even where it's actually about skill and not just like sort of like psyching someone out yeah it all comes down to where you yeah it all comes down to what you measure as skill i agree i'm not a big fan of the edge hoggers i'm also not a big fan of tech chase but then again people would say what does the game boil down to at that point and it's probably your awareness of your character which is a lot of skill to be honest let's not kid ourselves yeah. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the whole 50 50 tech chase. Either they roll or they stand up or roll in another direction. And do they attack or not? Do I block throw? Do I punch them in the face for it? Um, just the idea that you, you could set down your controller for a period of time kind of makes me sad. <laughs> 